G'day guys, welcome to the second tutorial for the Octane Tamea version 2 and 3. Um, and this tutorial will be going through the shading, the basic shading groups, uh, the generators, and the image based textures. Uh, the previous tutorial was just to show you uh, a workaround on how to do a finished scene. Here I'm going to go in depth with them. So here I have a pack scene that I'll be uploading. So in the Octane materials we have Diffuse, Glossy, Mix, Portal and Spec. Uh, we're going to worry about Diffuse, Glossy, Mix and the Spec and the Portal. Click onto each one to get into the library. Um, we are going to sign the first sphere with the Diffuse. Uh, the next circle we're going to assign the glossy next one we're going to assign the specular and the next one we're going to assign the mix and refresh viewport if you don't refresh the viewport you will not see the images so with the diffuse we're going to um, all the options for the materials are in the right hand corner as you can see here here we can change the color swatches uh, the main thing you have to worry about uh, with, in terms of making normal diffuse is the roughness. Um, the second one is the glossy. Uh, glossy is pretty much the same. Um, the diffuse you can change the color swatches as you would. And the, the ones you have to worry about is the specular slider, which obviously makes it more specular, um, more reflective, and the index. The index is very important. Um, next is the uh, is the specular. Um, the specular you have to worry about the reflection. The reflection is obviously the reflection of the glass, and the transmission um, is how much light can actually go through the specular material. Um, you can uh, click on the checkered board color, go to RGB spectrum, and change the transmission color from within. Uh, the rest is the obviously the index also um, and the roughness to make it look frosty like frosted glass and there's also dispersion on how much dispersion you want gives it a sort of a rainbow color uh, the dispersion and index um, they have libraries of catalogs on real world specular materials which you can plug that into the material. You can also press on fake shadows which changes the way the light um, interacts with the material. Uh, this is mostly good I find for glass windows. Now uh, next is the uh, mix material. The mix, uh, you can have two materials and mix together. I'm going to pick glossy and specular. Uh, for the specular, I'm going to click on red, and for the glossy, I'm going to pick blue. And as you can see, it is a merge of both of them, and you can click on the amounts, the specific amount you want for it, um, be it be all red or all blue. Or you can have a combination of both. You can also have different, um, with the amount, you can also put in different sort of ge uh, generators for it. Um, I like to use the fall off node um, as it can can have a, some really cool effects for it. As you can see here with the grazing, it, it, it replaces the amount with certain patterns you want. So that is the basic sort of textures. Those are the primary ones you'll be using um, and those are the option layouts for them. Uh, now we're going to work on the generators. Generators are pretty much inbuilt materials. Uh, we're going to use a glossy material for all of them. So uh, go to glossy. We're going to call this marble. Now in the diffuse, load up marble and refresh. So here is the marble texture. Now within each of these generators you can change the power um, the offsets, the octaves, um, each one have its own uh, respective options for it. You can also um, personally change the scaling, give it random numbers and text. Of, let's add another one, um, go to assign new material, go to glossy. Um, this time let's load up a rigid fractal, I like this one. Uh, again you can change the power, the offsets, octaves, give it more variance. Luminosity. Uh, next, let's load up a turbulence. Don't forget to refresh. Uh, these can be really good for bump uh, materials since if you get right close to it, uh, the actual 
resolution of these generators can get pretty high. Uh, you can also mix certain uh, generators. So if we were to go to sign a material, octane, go to mix, and the first material will light up a glossy. Uh, we're going to load a turbulence. And the next one will load glossy. We'll load a rigid, right, rigid, rigid, and here we can change the uh, settings for each, and it will be a combination of the two, and you'll get a very cool-looking texture. Uh, there are many more um, to play around with, such as checkers, um, sin wave, um, cos wave. Uh, but those are the basic premises of it. Alright, so next we have uh, image-based uh, textures. Um, I did go through that very quickly uh, in the other one, but we're going to have a bit more in-depth look into this one. So now we're going to do some image-based texturing. Um, first, we're going to load up a normal standard image texture. So first, uh, we're going to assign a glossy to this, so assign a material. Go to Glossy, and in here, um, click where the Diffuse Color is, click on the Checkered button, and go to Octane Image Texture. This won't work with the Maya Texture. Uh, press 5 to uh, 6 to view it, and there you have successfully put on the Image Texture for it. Now, um, Image Textures can also uh, change the values of certain um, attributes such as the such as glossy and roughness. I'm going to assign a, a specular um, which I've packed in for this tutorial. So go to glossy, and in the specular, go to octane float image. Uh, this gives a more better uh, a spectrum for black and white images, better than R RGB. And if you can change the attributes such as gamma, everything, you can see the effects happening on the material. Bit of a grunge sort of an effect. Uh, next, we're going to load up a bump um, image, and we're going to do uh, some sort of. I'm going to see the differences between bump and normal. So go to glossy again, and this time go to the bump attribute. Click on the checkered button and go to Octane Float Image and refresh. As you can see, it has applied a bump image. Uh, nothing geometry has changed. It's just a uh, an illusion. An illusion. Um, here you can change the uh, gamma and the power, and it can do its respective uh, changes. So with it, with the power all the way on one, with the power at zero and power uh, like almost at zero. You can see a lot of cool changes there. All right, let's just put the, crank this up to one. Let's load up another glossy, and let's load up a normal. So the normal, we're going to go to Octane Image Texture, and we're going to load up the normal texture. So as you can see, it's um, not much difference that I can see right now. However, you do have more control with the making of it, and it does um, have obviously better uh, better attributes than black and white. But there are the similarities between both of the two. Next, we're going to load a um, alpha image. An alpha image is pretty good for leaves, um, uh, grass, and all of that jazz. So uh, let's just flip this the other way. EV wrap it. Uh, I have a, gl a grass shader that I'm going to share with you guys. Assign new attribute, go to diffuse, and load up your image texture of the grass. Uh, obviously, the UV wrapping is a bit, a bit bad. Let's just change it up a bit. <coughs> All right, refresh, and now we're going to go to the octane. Diffuse, and we're going to go to Alpha. We're going to go to Opacity. Click on the Checkered button. Go to 
octane float image texture and click on the alpha image and always put the power up to one uh, you can also do this a different way by using the octane image texture um, I find this method a lot more suitable uh, next we're going to load up a, an image <coughs> Next we're going to load up a, an emission, um, which so right click on the plane, right click, add sign in material, go to uh, octane materials and go to diffuse. From the diffuse we're going to go to the emissions attribute, click on the checkered button and click on textured emission. Uh, black body is to have, is using real life temperatures of Kelvin, um, textured body is just a coloured textured. Uh, refresh. And we're going to bump up the power to 500, uh, 100,000. Move that a bit more closer just so we can see our changes. And there you have it. So these are the shading materials that Octane has. Obviously, you can use a lot more, you can utilize them to its full capacity in your projects. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you next time.